In previous videos, we've talked about the different pathways. The pathways are the application processes for certification. So you can apply for residency in the United States. The pathways are offered through the Educational Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates, the ECFMG. Again, the ECFMG is the only authority in the United States that will verify an international medical graduate's medical credentials, medical school, and history and background. In previous videos, we've explored pathways one, two, three, four, and five. The last pathway is pathway number six. Pathway six is available for any international medical graduate who does not meet the requirements for pathways one through five. In pathway six, a physician's clinical skills are to be evaluated by another physician. The applicants will be evaluated through ECFMG's own mini clinical evaluation exercise or mini CEX. The Mini-CEX is six clinical situations. The encounters must be real, which means they cannot be telemedicine, they cannot be virtual, they cannot be with standardized patients. They have to be in a hospital or a medical clinic. You will interview and examine a patient, and in doing that, you will be evaluated live by a physician in the same room. There are going to be six encounters. The encounters must be general medicine only. It can include uh, pediatrics, gynecology, obstetrics, and general internal medicine. The encounters cannot be specialty based. Uh, for example, cardiology patients only or specific neurology patients. It needs to be general medicine. Again, there are six encounters that you will need to take. The results will be uploaded to the electronic mini CEX. You are evaluated in four areas. Medical interviewing, physical examination skills, professionalism and communication skills, clinical reasoning and judgment. You'll be scored on a one through nine for each area. A one to three score means that you are probably in medical school. You do not have uh, a lot of the necessary skills to act independently as a doctor. Four through six scores indicate that you have graduated medical school and are in residency or have limit, again, some limited work with patients. A seven to nine score indicates that you are practicing medicine, that you are comfortable with um, patient encounters. The physicians evaluating you will score you on a one through nine for each encounter. The final results will also be evaluated by the ECFMG and their team of doctors. The difficult part is to have a physician that will be able to evaluate you. One physician may evaluate only two encounters. As you will have six encounters, you will need to have three physicians evaluate you. Any physician that agrees to evaluate you can only do so for up to 10 candidates. This means if you are in medical school and you are using one of the doctors at your medical school or, or medical affiliated institution that that person can only work with 10 candidates. Candidates are required to get the approval of the evaluating physician first. That evaluating physician must agree to provide their full name as well as email address. That will be sent to the ECFMG and the ECFMG will contact the evaluating physician directly. The physician must be fully licensed without any restrictions. This means that they are fully licensed to practice medicine. The physician must have five years of practice, uh, especially unrestricted practice. The physician must not be a family member or related to you in any way. 
there must be no compensation for the physician. The physician must be performing work um, in his regular, his or her regular work schedule. No compensation should be given to the patient or the doctor performing the evaluation. The candidate must also attest or prove that the physician is an acceptable candidate and that the physician meets all the requirements. Again, you will be taking six clinical encounters and you will need a total of three physicians to evaluate you. The general requirements for all pathways also applies for pathway six. Your medical school must be approved. You will need to take the United States Medical Licensing Exam Step 1 and Step 2 Clinical Knowledge. You will also need the Occupational English Test Medicine. The same scores apply. The pathway costs $925. Is Pathway 6 good for you? If you do not meet the requirements for Pathways 1 through 5, Pathway 6 is the only option. The encounter can be in your native language or in English. All documentation must be in English. One of the drawbacks is to have three physicians observe you. Um, they cannot be family members, they cannot be related to you in any way, they cannot be compensated. The work must be done within their regular work schedule. Um, these physicians must be experienced and have the ability to fill out all the documentation in English. You are responsible for getting the agreements of these physicians and for attesting that they are um, good candidates and that they meet all the requirements as well. The timeline is about 15 days from the time you submit the doctor's information and credentials to the ECFMG. This means once the physician is contacted by the ECFMG, you will have 15 days to have all six encounters evaluated. Pathway 6 is the final option if you do not meet any of the requirements, Pathway 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. I know that this might seem all overwhelming. Um, pathways are the replacement of the United States Medical Licensing Exam Step 2 Clinical Skills. They've opened it up to allow a wide range of criteria for international medical graduates to apply. Pathway 6 is, in essence, similar to the Step 2 CS in that you're being evaluated on your uh, clinical reasoning and knowledge, as well as your patient encounters. It is overwhelming and I understand it can be tough to decide which pathway to take. It is better to take the pathway that is easier for you, that you feel more confident and comfortable with. If you do have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. I really appreciate it. On this channel, I also provide interview and interview preparation tips, as well as clinical communication tips for international medical graduates to help you improve your English skills and to boost your confidence. Thank you very much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Until the next video, have a great one. Thank you again.